All right, so it's been quite some time now since the launch of the Google Pixel 7a, and as a result, it's a lot more affordable these days, with prices ranging from 400 bucks to 350 bucks and even lower. With that said, though, if you're looking for a terrific smartphone to take pictures with, then as far as price is concerned, the Pixel 7a is a great choice. Now we've done a ton of videos on this smartphone, and we have covered the camera before, but I just want to revisit it to give you folks a bit of insight in case you were looking to get the Pixel 7a, especially if you're after a great smartphone camera. With that said, let's get started. Alright, so let's go over the specs of the camera hardware on the Pixel 7a for a moment. Now the phone does come with a 64 megapixel main camera, which is a big upgrade over previous A-series models, as it was a pretty big improvement over the 12 megapixel sensors found on its predecessors. In addition to this, you also get a 13 megapixel ultrawide lens, as well as a 13 megapixel front camera. Now video recording maxes out at 4K resolution at 60 frames per second in the main sensors and at 4K resolution at 30 frames per second in the front camera. Of course, you get the usual array of features such as OIS and support for auto HDR. Now, if you are familiar with Google's approach to computational photography, you'll find a lot of the same elements on the Pixel 7a camera as on previous Google phones and even the newer ones. So you get that particular color science that Google uses in its Pixel phones with rich colors and a decent amount of contrast, but with a nice balance of dynamic range overall. And it does come with the usual array of features on other Pixel phones, such as Night Sight, Portrait Mode, and yeah, I'll leave you guys with these photos. Now in particular, one weakness of the Pixel 7a and I guess most Pixel phones in general is the video quality. That's not to say that it's terrible, but factors such as noise and soft details in less than ideal lighting situations do affect the overall video quality. If you can get good lighting though, you do end up with impressive results. But in general though, video quality does have a ways to go especially when compared to rivals such as devices from Apple or Samsung to name a few. Right, so right now this is the front camera on the Pixel 7a. It does shoot in 4K resolution, although it doesn't come with autofocus. So yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Right guys, so that does it for this quick video. Again, if you're looking for a great camera phone in 2024, especially for still photography, then the Pixel 7a is a decent choice, especially if you are on a budget and are not really after the latest model like the Pixel 8a. As we mentioned though earlier in the video, there are some considerations when it comes to the camera performance on this phone, but overall in general, it's a pretty solid device and I still use it a lot to take photos. So yeah, let us know what you think about the Pixel 7a in the comments below. Don't forget to check out our other videos here on TeamViewer Y. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.